Hello everybody and welcome to episode 13 of Remaking Cave Story in C++. Uh, this episode is called Looking Up and Down. I am Limeotes. My website is limeotes.com. My Twitter is at limeotes. My GitHub link is here and my Reddit, my subreddit is here. So today we're going to be focusing on uh, having quote look up and down. So the problem we're solving, quote needs to be able to look up and down, obviously. And quote also needs to look backwards to interact with things. Uh, if you've ever played Cave Story, you would know that if you hit down arrow, um, that's how you interact with things, and he actually turns around. Um, so when he's on the ground, hitting the down arrow makes him turn around to interact. And when he's in the air, he looks down, which you're holding the down arrow. And then he just looks up if you're holding the up arrow. So that's what we're going to focus on today. Uh, details, the only detail is obviously our character is coming from mycar.png. Uh, these new frames are in there too for up and down. So what do we need to do? We need to add new animations. We need to add functions to the player for look up. Stop looking up, look down, and stop looking down. And we need to call these functions from the game class. So very straightforward today. Um, so let's just get started. Go to player.h. And down underneath, um, stop moving. We're going to make a, new f a few functions. We're going to say void lookup. That'll get called when it's time for a uh, quote to look up. Void stop looking up. Void look down and void stop looking down. So pretty obvious what these functions do. I guess I'll put a comment next to them to be consistent with everything else. So, very obvious what these functions are going to do. So let's do it. Go to player.cpp. And what you're going to do in here is first we're going to add the animations. So go down to setup animation. And down here we're going to, underneath run right, we're going to add a bunch of animations. So let me open up mycare.png so you can look at it. So, here we go. So, as you can see, there are three frames for moving left while looking up. This frame is for standing to, uh, facing to the left while looking up. And then all three of them together are moving left while looking up. And same thing for looking right, uh, he's looking up while standing still, so that's the one. And then there are three for running while uh, looking up as well, to the right. Then for looking down, there's one when you're in the air for each direction. And then there's one for when you're standing for each direction. So we're just going to add these in. So the first one we'll do is when we're standing still, facing the left, and looking up. So I'm going to say add animation. And there's one frame for standing still. Um, then how many over is it? It starts right here. So that's 
3. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So we'll put a 3. Then how many pixels down is it? 0. We're going to call it idle left up. 16 by 16 and no offset. Okay, same thing for idle right up. It's one frame except for right, uh, it's down 16 pixels. So again, three over, 16 pixels down, idle right up, 16, 16, vector 2, 0, 0. So next we need running left while facing up. So add animation. Three frames for running left. Again, it starts three over. So here. And then it's three frames. So three, zero. Uh, run left up, we'll call it. 16 by 16, vector 2, 0, 0. Next, we need run right up. So, three frames. And to run to the right, it's 3 over and 16 pixels down. So, 3, 16. Run right up. 16, 16, vector 2, 0, 0. Okay, um, next we need looking down to the left, which would be this. So that's 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it starts at 6 on the X and it's 0 pixels down. So add animation, 1 frame, 6 over, 0 pixels down. We'll call it look down left, 16, 16, that's 2, 0, 0. Okay. Then we need look right left, which is the same thing except 16 pixels down. So one frame, six over, 16 pixels down. Look right left, uh, look down right, we'll call it. 16, 16, vector 2, 0, 0. Next we have look backwards left, which is this. So that's 7 over, and everything else is the same. So 1, 7, 0. Look backwards left. 16, 16, vector 2, 0, 0. And then finally, look backwards right is the same exact thing as left, except down 16 pixels. So 1, 7, 16, look backwards, right, 16, 16, vector 2, 0, 0. Alright, and that's all of our new animations we need. So that's finished. So next, we're going to implement our look up function. So go down underneath, stop moving. And before we do that, go to player.h, and we have to add in two variables here. We are going to add in a both private. We're going to have a bool looking up and a bool looking down. We need to keep track of if we're looking up or looking down so that we can modify a few of our moving functions and our stopping function um, so it all works. So let's actually modify those first before we actually implement uh, move or look up. So go to move left. And the first thing we're going to say here is if looking down is true and we're grounded, then return. Now what this is doing is this is making it so that while we're facing backwards, if we're on the ground and we're looking down, that means that he's turned around interacting with something. We don't want to be able to move in either direction. So we're going to return out of the move function so that he doesn't move at all. So none of this will actually happen if uh, that's the case. So what I'm going to say is then, down here, uh, in order to play the animation, I'm going to say if 
looking up equals false, then we're going to play run left. That's because we're going to be using our uh, run right up animation instead if we're looking up, instead of the normal run left. I'm sorry, uh, instead of the normal run left, we'll be using our run left up if we're looking up. So we only want to play this if we're not looking up. And then we're going to do the same thing for our move right. So we can copy and paste that if statement and then just if looking up is false, then play this. Then finally, we need to just change our stop moving function. We're going to say if looking up is false and looking down is false, then we're going to do idle right and idle left. That's because if we're facing left or right and we're holding down up or down, we want to play the idle looking up or the idle backwards. So only play idle right and idle left if we're not looking up or down. Okay. So now our new functions. Player look up. First things first, set looking up equal to true. Makes sense. Then we're going to say if dx is 0, meaning we're not moving, we're going to play animation. And then we're going to say if facing equals right, then play animation idle right up. Otherwise, play idle left up. Okay? If we are moving, then we're going to play animation if we're facing the right, run right up. Otherwise, run left up. So that'll just play the correct animation depending on what direction we're facing and whether or not we're moving. Then void player stop looking up. All we have to do there is say look, uh, looking up equals false. Then we need a void look down. So now we're going to set looking down equal to true. And I'll say if we're grounded, then that means we need to interact. So I'll say we need to interact, turn backwards. So I'll say play animation. If we're facing the right, look backwards right. Otherwise, look backwards left. Okay. If we're not on the ground, we need to play animation if we're facing the right. Look down right, otherwise look down left. Okay, so that's it. All this is is uh, playing the correct animation depending on whether or not we're on the ground or what direction we're facing or if we're looking up or looking down. So now all we need to do is call these. So go to game.cpp and we're going to go to where all of our inputs are. And what we're going to put is go down underneath move right. So here, we're going to say if input dot is key held, SDL scan code up. So if we're holding the up arrow, we're going to call look up. Else, if input dot is key held, SDL scan code down, 
we're just going to call player dot look down then we're going to say if input dot was key release sdl scan code up that means we let go of the up key so we need to stop looking up and then I'll say uh, if input dot was key release SDL scan code down and obviously player dot stop looking down pretty basic um, and that will hopefully do what we want that'll look up when we're holding up and look down when we're looking down now I have a symbols not found for architecture error did I put a function in here that I didn't implement look up stop looking up look down stop looking down look up stop looking up look down oh I never implemented stop looking down whoops all right all we need for that is void stop looking down and we're just going to set looking down equal to false all right so now it all builds so go ahead and run the code if you hold down the up arrow he looks up in the correct direction depending on where you're facing if you jump while you can jump while he's looking up and he'll just keep looking up. If you hold down the down arrow, he looks behind him in the correct direction. If you try to move, he won't move because we check for that in both directions. And if you hold down while you're in the air, you'll see he's looking down. See, look at that. He's looking down. Looks good. Alright. So pretty good. So that does what we want. It's obviously not gonna do anything in interacting with these yet, because there's no code written for that, but he looks in all the directions now, every direction you can look in. Good. So that's actually it for this episode. That was quick. That was a necessary episode, but a quick one. That's okay. Nothing wrong with a quick episode. So next time, I decided, we're going to work on the HUD, or part of it at least. We're going to get the health displayed on the screen, uh, a couple other things. I haven't really figured out what we'll be putting on the screen just yet in the next episode, but eventually we're going to get it all on there. So that's health, that's uh, experience, that's gun level, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to get some of that done next time. So again, I'm Limeoats. My website is limeoats.com. I just remade it, so you should check it out. My Twitter is at Limeoats. My GitHub is here. All this code will be there. And my subreddit is here. So if you have any questions, post there. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you